Hi there, so today we're unboxing a gaming keyboard and mouse. So this particular pack is by GameSir and it's the VX2 model. Details are in the description below for anyone thinking of purchasing. So let's take a quick look around the packaging. It comes with a nicely packaged picture of the keyboard here and a mouse there. Highlighting there for a PlayStation 4, Xbox One, Nintendo Switch and a PC. So it works cross-platform. Coming on the side, you can see some branding. Looking underneath, you can see their QR codes for their social media. Coming around the back, you can see some details regarding the items. So first of all, the switches are TTC mechanical red switches, has an integrated joystick. The mouse is ultralight skeleton design. And lighting wise, you've got RGB backlight with 16.8 million colors. So let's open it up and see what you get in the packaging. Okay, so I've laid out everything you get in the packaging. So let me quickly go through the items one by one. You get a small card, which is a certificate of quality control. You get a card showing the correct way to connect to a Nintendo Switch. Opening that up, it's in both Chinese and English. You get some stickers. You get a piece of paper thanking you for this purchase. You get a user manual, which is multi-language, showing you how to get this connected up to different systems and what each connection point is. You get an adapter, one end takes in a USB connection and the other end is a Type-C connection point. You get a charging cable, this is braided and the length of this is 90 centimeters. Build quality feels good. One end is USB and the other end is Type-C. You get a receiver and the size of this is 9.5 centimeters by 5 centimeters. Cable length on this is 38 centimeters. USB connection point on there and coming around the back is another cable and this is what you'd plug into your console and that's micro USB. Length of the cable here is about six and a half centimeters. Just to note the receiver has indicator lights over here and a reset button just there. Next we have the mouse and this is a skeleton design to it, ultra light feel to it. Cable is nice and flexible, got some cloth around there and in terms of length it's 140 centimeters. Connector and build quality seems good. Button here is for DPI changes and as you press it the colors on this change. Left and right click, wheel here, and two buttons there. No other buttons on there and coming underneath you've got a sensor there which is the PMW3360 laser sensor and that allows you to achieve DPIs up to 12,000. General build quality feels good. Once the mouse is plugged into the keyboard and the keyboard's been turned on, that's what the RGB looks like. Looks pretty cool, don't you think? Next we have the gaming keyboard, half a keyboard in size, 36 keys on there, and the keys are TTC mechanical red switches. In terms of feel, not extremely clicky but feel nice. All the keys can be remapped using their app, which can be installed on your mobile phone. You've got a joystick here, and the build of the frame here is aluminum alloy, and coming over here on the side, you've got a USB port, and that's used for connecting your mouse. You're not limited to just using this mouse, you can plug any mouse into this. Now coming around the other side, you've got a Type-C connection point there, and an on-off button. Now the Type-C connection points used for charging the device and looking underneath you've got some pads to stop it from sliding on a table. Coming around the back there nothing more to that and in terms of usability a nice area here to rest your wrist on. In terms of keys you've got seven key rollover and anti-ghosting with anti-skid texture design, avoids slippiness if your hands get a little bit sweaty as you're gaming and you've got a display here that gives you the status of the system. So if I now turn it on, you see the RGB come on, it's ready to accept a connection and battery indicators there. General build of it does feel good. Just to show the RGB colors on there, Looks pretty cool. And there's a sound test. Let's 
let's get this connected up to a PlayStation 4. So my PlayStation's over here, got a monitor there and the controllers just over here. The instructions themselves, quite clear how to get this set up. Very easy, literally a case of taking the receiver here, plugging the USB end into the PlayStation. The micro USB end, just plug that into your controller. And that's that side done. With the keyboard, Take your mouse, you can plug that here, and then turn it on over there. And now you're ready to go. Now everything's plugged in, you can see over here there's an indicator waiting to connect to the receiver. So now if I turn on my PlayStation, give it a moment, see lights over here, and that stopped flashing green, and you can see the controller connected there. So it's simple as that to get connected up. Nothing in addition to do. The colours on the both the keyboard and the mouse do look very nice. Looking on the user manual, you can see what PlayStation buttons are represented by the buttons on the keyboard. So useful they've given this reference point. Okay, so we've started up Fortnite on the PlayStation 4 just to test out the playability on this. Now, initial impressions, it's tricky getting used to it. If you haven't played with the keyboard and mouse, it does take a bit of time just to get used to it. If you've always played on a controller, then it's not going to be the quickest thing to get used to. In terms of the keyboard and the mouse, the mouse itself is not too bad. It's not the greatest mouse I've ever used. Um, so if I compare it to something like the Logitech G Pro Wireless, that is my probably most preferred mouse, and also the G502 Lightspeed or the wired version. I do like both of those uh, compared to this particular mouse. I'm not saying it's that bad, but you know, keep in mind you can switch it to something else. Keyboard-wise, it does feel nice and comfortable. The build of the keyboard is very good. Playability-wise, does work well just takes time getting used to. Now, what's interesting is you can remap all the keys. So at the moment, they've got a default setting for a PlayStation 4, but I'll show later on how to install the app on your mobile and get all the keys remapped if you wanted. So there you go, as simple as that to get set up on a PlayStation 4. Next, let me show how to set up a device to work on an Xbox. So, same thing again, you've got your receiver there, plug that into your Xbox. Then take the micro USB end here, plug that into your controller. You can see the lights flashing on that. And now, as you can see, the mouse is plugged into the keyboard and we can just flip the switch here, turn the keyboard on and it's connected. So now we're ready to turn on the Xbox. Just to note, obviously you get the connectivity color come on there and this stays static blue, indicating it is connected. And now just to highlight, just like with the PlayStation, in the manual they've highlighted the Xbox controls on the keyboard on this. Okay, so we've got Fortnite running here on the Xbox and playability wise and experience is identical to the PlayStation 4. Which is no surprise, obviously, it's the same game. Now, would this give you the edge, you know, over a standard Xbox player? Obviously, with a lot of experience playing with it, it will do. Because you can get a better accuracy with using the mouse and keyboard with this. Connecting to a computer is the same as well. Just take the receiver, plug in the USB connector into your computer. The micro USB connector doesn't have to be connected anywhere. And once it's connected to a computer, you've got some additional functionality. So with the function keys, you can mute the volume, decrease volume, increase volume. You can flip between the joystick. The joystick doesn't do anything on a PC. It's only more relevant on a console. So on a console, you can navigate around the screen with that. Now you've got a color change option here. So if I go there, See it change. And one more. There you go. Works well. And you've got a brightness option there as well. Doesn't affect the mouse in any way. Obviously that's independent. Now on the mouse, if you did change DPI, just to show, just changes color. They've highlighted in the instructions 
which DPI each color represents. Next, let me show how to install the app on your phone for this so you can reconfigure the mapping of the keys. Now looking in the user manual there is a page for installing the app and it contains a QR code. So now going to my phone if I open up my camera scanning the QR code go to the link this is a web page we're presented with it says go to download for Android and iOS and you've got the APK package here so if I click on that let it download open the file we'll go to the package installer and it says do you want to install this application we'll click install to that app installed if I click open and now it needs to connect to the keyboard now to do that you need to turn on your Bluetooth you can see paired devices I've already tried pairing it once before it's connecting and what we need to do if I go function and then this key here and now click connect there you go it's connected so on here if I go to my configuration you can see for the different consoles PS4 Xbox one switch official config so config for different games on this let's go to Fortnite just scrolling down and you can see the action and the key it's associated with coming back you've got user sharing and then going to device management and this is where you'd come if you wanted to update the firmware for this so it's already up to date so no need to do anything for this and that's it so it's as simple as that to get the app installed and this allows you to remap the keys if you're not happy with what the default configuration is okay so you've seen the unboxing and setup of this gaming keyboard and mouse from GameSir build quality wise excellent build quality in terms of the keys themselves they have a nice feel to them but not quite a mechanical feel I have to admit I felt better quality keys than this before but it does do the job and does do it well mouse wise that's pretty good as well but if I compare to one of my Logitech mice I'd say that wins hands down compared to this in terms of functionality gaming wise if you're not used to playing on a keyboard and mouse it does take time to get used to it does it give you the edge? I think it would. You just need to practice sufficient enough. The fact is, keyboard and mice players normally have the edge over console players. So this can enhance your gaming. So there you go. I hope it's helped anyone thinking of purchasing this. Details are in the description below. Thanks for viewing and don't forget to like, comment and subscribe.